Hi, I am Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use iframe or inline frame in Expression Web 4. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use iframe or inline frame in Microsoft Expression Web 4. Let me explain you what is an iframe. An iframe is a container used to load another web page. What is the simple definition for iframe? An iframe is a container used to load another web page. For example, in your web page, if you want to load another page within that HTML page, what option you want to use? The option is iframe. Okay, once again, an iframe is a container used to load another web page. We can use any number of iframe within an HTML page. There is no limitation. You can able to use any number of iframes. Now we are going to see the syntax or tag. So iframe or inline frame. So what is the other name for iframe? Iframe can also be called as inline frame. Yes. One second error page. Iframe can also be called as inline frame. So here is the syntax. So iframe starts with the tag iframe followed by ID. You want to give the ID and name for this iframe and source. What is the source? The path of the HTML you wish to connect. Right? What is the source? The path of the HTML you wish to connect. And you want to close the iframe. Okay, so, so this is how we want to use the syntax. Once again, I repeat the syntax iframe followed by ID where you want to provide the ID and name where you want to provide the name and followed by source source specify the path of an HTML page you wish to connect and now I'm going to teach you the practical example so open Microsoft expression web 4 just by clicking the icon so what is a Microsoft expression before so it's an ID where we can able to develop any kind of web page like ASP.NET HTML so and so okay so now I'm going to type let us say first I'm going to insert an image okay let us say FTI I can able to resize it let us say fisherman training institute Salala Oman okay so now I select this and I will change the font let us say default font make it bold so now let us see important events events in fisherman training institute let us say April 2000 okay 2014 and before that I want to insert an horizontal line and after I want to insert the horizontal line this is an horizontal line okay and then after this I want to insert an horizontal line now I want to insert an inline frame how to insert just double click it now there are two options set an initial page using this option you can open you can able to open the existing page or else if you wish to create a new page you want to use the option new page first 
I am going to use the option set initial page. Let us say Okay. Okay, now if you wish to change to another file, so how? So just select your iframe, right click, inline frame properties. Now I'm going to change initial page. I'm going to change it to let us say default and click OK. Yes. So now the page has been loaded. So now I'm going to increase the size, width and height, and then I'm going to insert an horizontal line, and then let us say job events. So I am going to display all the job events. So after this insert an inline, inline frame. So here is the inline frame. Just double click it. Now I am going to use the option new page. So let us say job event. Let us say placement test for IT let's say placement test for English let us say placement test for my okay so now you want to change the color you can change the color and after this I'm going to insert an horizontal line let us say contact details okay and then I'm going to insert an inline frame, set initial page. Let us say something. Okay. Okay. And some page. Let us say, uh, fisherman. Training Institute. Salala Oman. Okay, fine. So now, if you uh, how to preview it? So as I said, before previewing it, you should save. Okay, so save. Let us say a new folder. Uh, let us say example two for inline frame. Okay, S and open it and save it and save. And now here is the option preview option. Click here and you can select any browser. So I'm going to use Chrome. So where you can able to see the output. See within an HTML page, I have loaded three different pages. So this is a use of iframe. This is a real use of iframe. Okay. If you want to change the width and height, just click the iframe drag it you 
can able to increase if you want to decrease the same click the iframe and make it and save it and now refresh it see so now the width and height has been increased so this is how you want to use an iframe in an HTML page I think you guys have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching this video thank you